Hey everyone, Karina LeBlanc here. Uh, I used to be the goalkeeper for Canada for um, a couple of years. Um, I was asked to talk about integrity, which I thought was really easy to speak about because for me, integrity is, is one of the most important values you can have in life, whether it's in sport, whether it's in life. I think you just want to walk around and hold yourself high, knowing that you live life in integrity. I think it comes through in all aspects. If I'm if I think about it, I, I live my life literally every day wanting to be the best version of me, every day wanting to get up, no matter what the circumstances, no matter what the situation may be, having integrity and being true to who I am, being authentic to who I am, being who I was meant to be on this earth. And I know it's a little, people take that lightly or heavily, but I think one of the biggest things for me is to ask yourself, no matter what age you are, no matter what you do, no matter what role you play in life, what was I uniquely put on this earth to do? And who was I meant to be? I think we're all raised to think one thing or another, but we all are uniquely here for a reason. We all have a, a inner greatness within us. And I think one of the most important things you can go through in life is to live your purpose here on this earth be the reason that you're meant to be. I People always see my energy and they're like, how do you have all this energy? And I think it's because like, I literally want to leave this earth whenever my time is on E for empty. I don't want to waste time. I don't want to waste moments. We all have the ability to affect other people in different moments in our life, whether it's you going to Starbucks to get a cup of coffee or you playing on the field with or against anybody. I think what you want is you want people to be able to walk off and and say good things about you. And I think one of the questions you should ask yourself is, what do I want people to say about me and what would they actually say about me? Whether it's your teammates, whether it's your, your, your family, whether you're a parent or a child. Like, what do you, what do you want your family to say about you? What do you want your teammates to say about you? What do you want the people who see you every day to say about you? And I think when you go through life, literally walking through and holding your head, head high and knowing that you handle every situation to the best of your ability, you're not always gonna get it right, I get it. But if you intentionally get it wrong, there's a difference. If your intent in things is not right, um, I think that's where you fail yourself. So for me, I hope that people see me as a, a woman with integrity, a woman with class, a woman th with character, a woman who respects other people, no matter their age, race, uh, gender, any of that stuff. I, I hope people look at me and they say, wow, like the, there goes a woman who is a good woman. And I know good is a simple word, but it was one of the things on the national team John always said to us, it's just a, just a simple thing is be a good Canadian. And what does a good Canadian mean? And I remember, I'll never forget this, he was talking about not spitting gum on the ground. And I was like, what? And then I thought about it, like, yeah, like, do the right thing. Handle yourself with class. Handle yourself in a way that you are always proud of. It's not always easy to make the decision that, that, that that's the most popular decision, but handle yourself with integrity. And, and in a way that when people walk away from you, they'll be like, that was a good person. So I think whether you're on your feet on the field, I know on the field, one of the coolest things was for me to go back to the soccer team and just the excitement they had and, and the words they said to me and they saw me and it was just all great words of the person I am. It's not what you accomplish, it's, it's who you are in accomplishing. And I'll never forget standing on the podium at the Olympics and seeing our flag rise and crying the ugly cry, which I wish I would have cried more gracefully. But you know, you're on the podium and there's your ultimate goal, your biggest dream. And in that dream and in that moment, you're actually not thinking about the winning. You're thinking about the moments and the process and the journey and the people that you're standing next to. And you're having moments. So if you're dreaming crazy big, which I hope you are, I hope you don't ever just dream normal. I hope in all of your dreams, when you accomplish it, you'll stand on that podium or whatever that moment in life and be like, I did this in a way I'm proud of. And the people next to me, what they'll say about me, I'm proud of. So to me, that's what it's about. All right, thanks for listening. Hope you got something out of this, bye.